And good morning, rolling the ball. Up and down the fingers. And let's uh, jam it in between the fingers as best you can. Listen those up. And across the knuckles. And the thumb pair. And the pair below pinky. And putting it in between, the, in the middle of the palm, interlacing the fingers and squeezing three, four, five, and letting go. Squeezing. And letting go. And one more time. Squeeze. And let go. And today, let's toss it up. And again, if you have a partner, you can toss it between yourselves. Move it around a little. Catch it with different hand. Self guessing. Maybe bat it rather than catch it. Put it aside. Other side, a little higher, maybe squat a little bit. And three, two, one. And let's assess how our feet feel. Dropping the ball and stepping on it three times in the middle. Moving up to the knuckles. And rolling it across the knuckles. Roll down the bones. And scribble. And pause, reassess. And let's do the same thing to the other foot. One. Cross the knuckles. Rotate on the heel. Down the bone. And script. Three, two, one. Put that ball aside, out of the way, reassess. And shake the tree. Centering with two breaths. Twisting at the waist, swinging the arms.
And centering. Let's do some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Gathering in starlight from one side. Centering and then the other. Deep breath. And let's march in place. Jog. So today we're going to do the McGill Big Three core exercises for the back. And then uh, in the after class, we've got some band work for the arms and ankles, actually. So we have 22 seconds or so left. Do whatever you want. You can do what you're doing right now. Pick it up a little bit. Sprint. Do some rapid squats. Side jacks, I think is what I'm going to do. Just be safe. In five, four, three, two, one, two. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-two. Two deep breaths. Interlacing the fingers, bringing up overhead, and stretching. Then back if you can. Center. And bend to one side. And then the other. Center and lower, slowly pushing out at the chest. 
Separating the scapula. Keep pushing. And slowly come down. Shrug and keep your shoulders up. Four, three, two, one, and down. And up. Three, two, one, and down. And up. And down. And roll back. Keep the shoulders down as you do. And forward. Take one hand and cross it right below the neck, pressing back on the uh, elbow. <laughs> I got ankle on my mind. It's going to be new uh, resistance band exercise with the ankles today. And then the other hand and arm. And then the original arm behind the back. Other arm. Arms out and rotate. And in the other direction. One palm up, one palm down, flip flop. One and bring them in, rotate the neck. Other direction. Look up. And down. One arm down. Look the other way, away from the arm that's hanging down. Your chin is up, but now bring it down to your collarbone or close to it. And come back up, look the other way, sink the other, the opposite arm. Chin is up and bring it down. Back to center, let's swim. Backstroke. And a breaststroke. Bring your legs apart and go into a side lunge. Other way. Turn to the side. 
Stretch that back calf by pushing the heel towards the ground. Other way. And let's come back and grab a stick. Yeah, let's start with some flip flops. And bring the stick up over your head and behind you if you can. Rotate laterally. And then the other direction. Make a circle in front, pushing out. And bring it back. Reversing direction. Put it behind your back, crook of the elbows, and twist it to waist. If you can go into a back extension, otherwise keep twisting. And come up, tuck in your chin, peck like a pigeon. Bring the stick up to the neck. Twist the trunk, keep the head and hips facing forward. And bring the stick back in front. Um, and step out to the side and do a lunge up. And then the other side. Stick in front. And let's go up on our toes for 20 seconds. One, two, three. And 20, and then back on our heels. One. Nineteen and twenty, and let's put the uh, stick down. Just want to do a quick um, balance exercise. What we're going to do is step up, hold, and back down. Up, hold, and back down. If you need the stick, do it. Otherwise, just keep your hands out. Turn around. 
up, hold, hold. And the way to progress this is the way we progress the heel to toe. Look to a side. Again, just be very careful if you need to have a stick or be walking next to the wall. Okay, to wobble a little. Just make sure you got something that you can hold on to. Do one more in one direction. Excellent. We are going to get down on the floor to do the McGill Big three for the core and back. We're going to start by lying on our back with the soles of the feet on the floor. Extend one leg down. Your hands are under your lumbar region, lower back. Providing support back there. We're going to come up with the head, neck, and shoulders. And again, imagine that there's a scale underneath your shoulder blades. You just want to lift your blades up enough that they're not, that the scale is registering zero and come back down. You're doing it all with your core. We're going to hold for eight seconds today. And then we're going to switch legs and we'll do three repetitions uh, on each side. You ready? Come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Switch the position of the legs. Up. Two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, and down. Switch the positions. Up. And down on the leg. Up. And down, switch back, up, and down, and up, and down. Take a couple of breaths. We can turn around and get on all fours. Now, the object of this exercise is to lift one arm and hand at the same time that you're up, uh, lifting the opposite leg and foot. But if you need to modify it, you can start by just lifting a hand and holding for eight seconds, or just lifting the leg and holding for eight seconds, a little bit more difficult. You can do both great. And at the end, I'm gonna add a new twist. We're gonna be have a um, hand out and a leg out. And when we come back, we're gonna bring the elbow and the knee together, kick out, and then come down. Just a little added twist at the end. So we're going to go for eight. Again, modify is necessary. Let's do the left arm and the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight come down. Oh, I forgot to do the modification. I'm sorry. One on the other, uh, the right arm and the left leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the elbow and knee together. Come back out and then come down. All right, left arm, right leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, elbow to knee, and back. Only do it if you can. Right arm and left leg, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, left and left arm, right leg, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, elbow to knee, and right arm, left leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, elbow to knee. Back out and then down. Take a couple of breaths. We're gonna get on our side and do some side planks. You wanna make sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder, forearm is extended out. These can be starting out bent. You're gonna come up and straighten out and do a plank on your knees. Or if you feel up to it, you can do it on your side of your foot. And yet another progression would be to raise your hand into the air. Just do whatever feels comfortable. We'll hold it for eight. And uh, we'll do three on one side and then three on the other. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Couple of breaths. And getting ready. I'm just gonna do it on my knees this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. A couple of breaths, and this time I'll just do it without raising my hand on my feet. And up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Swing around to the other side. When you're ready, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down. There we go. It goes big three. Let's stand up. Switch the camera. Take a couple of deep breaths. Rub those hands together and cultivate some chi. Forming a chi ball. 
Yeah, and letting it dance us around. And center. Two breaths in through the nose. And Deep breath and let it out. Center. And bring it down, Heavenly Chi. Going down, gathering it up. Day. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank Excellent. you so much. Hopefully, we'll see you Saturday. Oh, uh, you will, Jeannie. Thank you, Ken. Um, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> and uh, hey, Jonathan. Hey, Suzanne. Hello, Richard. Um, so yes, it is a band's day. Um, I would start with a um, light band, lightish. I'm going to go green, next one up. And um, we're going to put it uh, on our wrists. Um, expand it a little bit, a little bit of tension and bring it up to one side and then bring it up to the other. And we'll do 10 reps on each side, two, three, Five, nice and slow. Two more.
and 10. Great. Whew. Feel it in the shoulders, right? Keep it on the wrists. Just let the uh, shoulders rest for a second. We're gonna get the forearms. We're gonna come up like that, up like that, up like this, up like this, all right? Two, three, four, five, six, Nine, ten. Excellent. All right. Um, we're going to sit down. I'm going to switch the camera. Uh, you might want a slightly heavier band. Since this one was a little bit heavy already, I'm going to stick with this. Um, and you want to put the band in your toes, maybe between the uh, big toe and the second toe there, like so. So you got a good grip on it. See that? And we're going to put it down on the ground. Pull up with one hand and then flex your ankle straight down. So let's say that's three, four, five. If you have to go to a lighter band, do so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do twelve. Eleven. 12, and then move to the other foot. Same thing, it's up and then down. One, two, three, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now wrap the band around one ankle and around the top and top of the other foot. So it looks you got it around this ankle and the top of the other foot. And you're going to plant the foot that has it around the ankle on the ground. The other foot you raise slightly, separate your legs as much as you feel comfortable and rotate the ankle that's not planted out to the side, adduction of the ankle. So you're moving it out, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, do twelve, eleven, and twelve, and then switch the position of the band. So we get the other foot. One, two, and I'm feeling this all the way up in my hips. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go back to the first. Um, we'll. Uh, do everything in reverse again. So we'll do the stay on the adduction of the ankle, just um, switch the position of the strap. 
And whenever you're ready, one, two, three. Seven, eight, eleven, and twelve. All right, other side, last one on this. There's trouble there. Okay, one, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great. Again, put it between your toes. Pull back and extend that leg that has the strap in it and flex down, two, three, eight, eleven, and twelve, other foot. You can adjust the um, Tension as always by bringing the strap in closer or further away. One, two, eleven, and twelve. Very good. Stand back up. Put the band on either wrist and alternate. Seven. Ten. Ten. Take a break. Put it on the wrists again. Create some tension. Bring it down and up. One. Other way. Two, two, six, Nine and ten. Ah, very good. Hope you're all feeling well. Have a good day, T. See you tomorrow. All righty. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank Take you care. very much, Tom. See you're you welcome. tomorrow. Very good. If I thank can, you, Tom. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Till tomorrow, Tom. All right, Richard. Ciao. Hey, Ben Company.